I know some of you guys asked me what I thought about the action South Africa is doing, taking Israel to the International Criminal Tribunal and all that. I think it's window dressing. I think it's a distraction to let make people think, ah, something's being done. You know, they're working on this. People care. Um, there's no way. Israel has got too much clout throughout the world through their numerous um, the think tanks they sponsor, the pressure groups, the lobbyists. Um, you can see the governments all over the world. But look at Elon Musk. You know, everyone kind of has to defer to that. You even see the split that's gone on in the alternate community. Uh, it's a woman, Laura Dodsworth. I don't know if any of you guys had followed her. She was reporting Bob Moran to the police because of the very apt cartoon he did. So you can see that even now, all the people were saying that, yes, free speech is essential. They were standing behind us on COVID. They were standing against Ukraine. Israel's been the dividing line because they know once they cross that line, there's no more book deal. Laura Dodsworth's got a publisher. She's got an agent. No more of that once you cross that line, right? Um, Julia Hartley Brewer, well, she has to say that, hasn't she? Rupert Murdoch, she wants her job. So, you see, that's a line you cannot cross. That's why decentralization is very important. If you're very small, these things don't affect you. Once you get to a point where you, like David Vance, is arranging meetings with Lawrence Fox, with um, Andrew Bridgen, you know, once you get into that whole thing where you're relying on venues, where you need someone to run your website, where you rely on income from your website, you can't speak anymore. You have to be willing to do it for nothing and you have to be pretty small that they can't get to you. Otherwise, you have to stick to the narrative. You can see with Elon Musk, <laughs> there's going to be censorship coming, don't worry. So I don't think this whole thing with South Africa is going to come to anything. It's just give, like giving you a phone. It's a flex so that it distracts people and helps makes people think, well, there is some justice. Something's happening. I can relax. Same with bringing Donald Trump back. It's also making people, he's going to fix it. He's going to relax. Everything's going to be fine. No, he, he's not going to do anything. I know I prefer him to Biden. I prefer him to most people. To almost anyone available, I'll take him. But he's still not going to do anything. He's just kind of annoys all the right people and says some of the right things and might like do 1% good. But it's still a distraction. So I don't think anything will come of that because the same people that, um, you know, it's, it's the same people behind it, right? It's the chessboard. It's just a, a chess move between chess pieces, but it's basically the same people running the chess game. So I don't think anything will come of that. And like I say, it continues to be interesting on Twitter to see who's risked speaking out about this particular issue. In terms of that cartoon, I know a lot of you guys would have seen it now, people saying it's blood libel and then it's this and that. Most people don't have a clue what blood libel is. They really don't. So if they're saying that that is the reason why it needs to be reported to the police, it's not a valid reason because most people aren't going to see it that way. Most people are just going to see it how it is, that there's a huge amount being blood being shed and politicians are dining out, not dining out, through getting a thrill out of it, but um, they're profiting out of it. They're not concerned. There can never be enough for them because wars are all about their power and uh, wars are all about money and politics and power games and that's just collateral damage and they don't care and they're just going to sort of dine out on it. Talking about conscription again. <laughs> Why would anyone do it? Europeans going, Christian Europeans going to fight other Christian Europeans while the country becomes totally something that no one will recognize in 10 years? Seriously? 